What's up guys, welcome back to another video on Parker Miller Herbie Love Book. And today we're going to be doing What If Canada Made an Empire? This video was suggested by one of you guys from my recently exploded video, um, What If Germany Made an Empire in 2022? And this lovely guy right here, Dollar Joe Canada 9291, suggested that I should do What If Canada Made an Empire? So, um, thanks for the amazing idea, Cal um, Canada 9291. And so, yeah, here's your video. So, um, to start off right away, Canada, to expand its borders, as it cannot, it will, it will lose a war against the United States. Oh, and also, yeah, um, all factions are, this, all factions don't exist, like NATO and BRICS, they don't, they don't exist no more. And also, Canada is much stronger than real life, but it still would lose to a war against the U.S. So, they go against Denmark to, to capture Greenland. And this is their second b b um, neighbor. And with this, Canada also wants to become the largest country in um, the largest country in the world, which is currently held by Russia. So, starting off with the war, um, Canada launched using right over here. Launch two invasions, one here and one right here. So these invasions go really well as there's nobody contests nobody contests the invasions and they ultimately link up and began to massively push out. Um units Denmark begins to send all of its army over here to Greenland. And also units that are already in Greenland begin to move north to stop this advance. But in the meantime, Canada captures almost um, a large chunk of Greenland. Um, all the way up to here before the first units um, arrive right here. But they are easily defeated by by the Canadians, as these are from Denmark. They they are not trained in like the cold, but like professional. These are these right here are the best Canadian Canada's troops they have. So they are so Greenland. So Dan Danish troops are easily defeated, and they are massively pushed back. Canada focuses all almost everything it has onto the south to capture because that's where most everybody lives. And they cut off here, encircling like a decent chunk of Denmark's army, and they capture it. And after this, um, Canada continues its push until um, Denmark surrenders Greenland. And the following priest treaty, it's, um, Canada just annexes Greenland to, into its empire. As then Denmark, um, returns to neutrality and, um, but is forced to pay war reparations to Canada. After this, Canada wanting very expansionist, um, attacks, um, Iceland as it's their next thing, as they're wanting to move over to Europe, so they can expand there. They land, um, in the main coast, they've already captured most of everything here, but they continued to push and captured the entire island. Uh, this is only a two day long war, because, um, they're mil because the Icelandic military is like nothing. It's just a coast guard. <clears throat> At this point, Canada Canada can't decide whether to go after Norway or Ireland, but they do ultimately settle on one on on Ireland, so they can match up with their partner, um, the UK. Oh, I'm sorry for like the rainy noise in my back in my background. It's raining and it's tapping against my AC in my window right now. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. Nothing I can do. 
so um they the the Irish Navy does hold out for a little bit, but ultimately the lower the much larger Canadian Navy takes over and they um land uh they land the most and they land two hundred thousand troops right here. They quickly storm the re um the beaches and they capture um, almost the entire southern part of the island. Uh, are are stopped are stopped around Dublin, but they do retreat um out of the north. But hold on to this area around Dublin. It's a long battle, but ultimately Ireland falls and surrenders. It is. Also annexed into Canada's empire. Now, if that Canada massively builds up its military as it has once once larger population and is much more powerful now, and they are almost in there, and they are um almost as large as Russia at this point. So that's good for them. But after a little bit of building up, they ultimately do go after um, the Norwegians as they are um, have like a lot of resources in them that Canada does need for its war machine to keep going. And so they launch out from Iceland and land over right here after landing they are heavily contested by the entire Norwegian army but ultimately they are pushed back um losing a lot of their population in major cities Oslo holds out Oslo is surrounded along surrounding areas and a massive push up north happens which captures the northern part of the country these units retreat um, to this island right here. But the Norwegian government continues to fight in Oslo, but they are ultimately destroyed. And a peace treaty is signed that gives entirety of Norway over to the um, Canadians. This does um cause some problems for the nations as um as several nations like germany france spain portugal and poland making a lot um make a pact to stop the expansion of um canada from moving more southward but um that does not stop the um this is unfortunately not include Sweden, which is um, which can Canada um, wants to invade. So they launch uh, a massive assault on the south, storming um, much the country. Sweden does power proof to be one of the, their most their most difficult um, opponent though, because they have like a lot of modern stuff so they are stopped around right here and even a and even the Swedes managed to cut off this area from the remainder of Canada and capture it but um and they are able actually and they're also able to relieve a part of the country too right here too but um Ultimately, after a long stalemate, the um, the Swedish are pushed back to a point um, where Scott Stockholm falls, and they surrender. Where where they are right now. After that, um, they. And it's this portion right here, but for some odd, but um, Sweden is allowed to annex this, and is allowed to remain right here. 
So, um, Sweden turns this area right here into a pot, into a, into the Republic of Norway, a puppet of itself. And the, um, and Sweden forms, and Sweden, the remainder of Sweden joins that pact of, with the remainder of, um, with, like, Poland, Germany, um, France, and Spain. They join that along with their puppet right here. Which, this puppet ultimately does become independent as Norway. But it's quite weak and is, um, the union between these three straits is become more and become more possible than ever before. So, um, well, no, I'm sorry about this. It's kind of weird. But, um, Canada does look its eyes back to its home, the USA. I just use it as a potential um, um, invasion. And so, driving resources from all of its countries, as most of Europe has joined what is now known as the European, the, um, the European Pact, not the European Union, but European Pact, which consists of all, um, which consists of, like, this, like, just the main chunk right here, of nations. So they can no longer expand to that as Russia, um, CSTO has all of these other countries, and then Britain is is its good friend. So ultimately, um, the war that you've probably all been waiting for happens. Um, a border conflict between the USA and Canada up north like right here leads to the United lead, leads to Canada um declaring war on the U USA um because it says that it was a preemptive attack on its territory but um nobody knows why it happened and who shot first so it's it's just a guess now for all that um Canada Canada really, as the United States, and um, is still the world's sole um, is the world is one of the world's um two super three superpowers, which are the other two are um Canada and Russia. The um, can the Canadians um do take the first steps of the of war then with um. As it sees Alaska, um, you need to take it out so it can focus all this troop down south. So they capture this, the including the Alaskan capital. They make a wide sweep right over here. Um, as there's, as there's only like thirty thousand troops over in Can and Alaska versus um seventy thousand invading forces, it is um. They do, they do lose, um, Alaska does quite fall quite quickly, though, as, um, they retreat, as they retreat, um, like, over 200,000 people from it, like, citizens and military, and all military personnel. Then, um, large Canadian force captures Maine, along with these states over here. But are stopped right there. Um, the U.S. launches an invasion, which captures Vancouver and a large assault onto the capital of Canada, right here. While this does weaken Canada a lot, using losing a lot of its stuff, it ha hell it has all of these 
So it drives all of its resources into a massive counteroffensive, which goes extremely well. I'm super sorry for the red ocean, but I can't really do nothing about it for video's sake. I'm just going to do it. Then they also push back over to here. Then they launch a massive assault into um, Michigan and stuff, ultimately capturing um, Detroit and put pressure on Chicago. They launch an invasion into Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Michigan surrenders. Um, and they launch also like just a massive invasion over here. Um, New York is surrounded and eventually falls. Chicago, um, Chicago, which I believe is right there, um, is surrounded but does not fall as easily as New York. Um, then they continue their massive invasion, capturing Minnesota, Wisconsin. And they surround the capital of the, of the of America, and ultimately the Canadians are stalled there. The U.S. is at this point pretty much lost war, as it's some of most of its major cities, including its capital, are surrounded. Like New York, Boston, Detroit, have all fallen. Chicago is. Chicago um, also falls soon after the hall, and also Washington, D.C. is slowly cramped upon more and more. And at this point, um, people in the U.S. Just call for peace at this point. And so the government, and so USA surrenders to Canada. The Canadian terms of demand are, kind of, are are not too bad, but the United States, it will take a long time for the U.S. to recover. First of all, um, New England, all of this area is annexed, and then um, like the northern part of Minnesota is also annexed into Canada along with Michigan the lower part Michigan um, land is taken out of the northern part of Michigan and Vancouver Island is and also Alaska is completely annexed into Canada and um, Vancouver Island is um, City to U.S. Uh, it's completely under American control. After this, um, Canada annexes all of all of its parts. And then U.S. annexes Vancouver Island. I'm so sorry about that, by the way. Just give me one second, by the way. Then they annex Vancouver Island to, into the USA. I'm not going to call it. Um, this island is under military occupation as it's voting a referendum to Washington US or so join Canada. Um, they, um, the world recognizes this borders change at it as U.S. is demoted as the most powerful nation in the world. And that goes to, um, Canada now.
Yeah, that was my dad, by the way. Um, and then... Can't, um... Alaska is in, um... Russia demands Alaska, but... No, um, but they deny it, and Russia's just left. Um, they back down, and it's... And they recognize it as Canadian. And if, and they, um... They, the military of the Canada stays in the U.S. for a little bit, and then, but it does retreat. It does go back to its homeland. And, um, the U.S. is severely weakened losing all of that land. But, um, yeah. So, this is what... If Canada made an empire, my take of it, um, it probably would go much differently, but this is fiction, and I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time, and also thank, thank you for the explosion, thank you for all, all the people who subscribed, and all the people who have been watching my videos lately, it just means so much love to me, I've been doing this for like four, I've been doing YouTube since 2015, and this has never happened to me, this is my first, that was my first video, Thank you so much, and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.